Are you there? Do you hear me? It's time to go. What if she doesn't open the door, Polo? Don't you realize that this might be the end of our life? It's going to be all right, John. She's going to open the door as usual, and we will go together side by side. So you some faith, would you? Hmm? OK. Really bad at this. Maybe I am. Or I'm just giving you a chance to release your tension. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> John? Do you hear it? Do you hear the sound, John?
Do you seriously think it's time to tell her? Yes, it's time. We can't keep this a secret anymore. We have to take this risk. Can you trust me? Of course, you know I do. And whatever happens, I'll be here with you. But please don't go against her. We can't exist without her. Then there will be no you and me. I love John. Paolo, leave this room. I spare your life. Please forgive us, madam. Polo is unlike himself today. Please forgive us for the sins we have committed over and over again. What are you asking from her? From now on, I promise you. Can you talk to me? She spared my life. But with one condition. We can't be together anymore. What? What's going on? What happened there? She said our love is wrong. And, and if we keep doing this, next time we enter that room, one of us will die. What? Who's gonna die? <laughs> me. You? Why you and not me? I'm the one who believes in her, Polo. She knows you never cared or bothered to question how you came to exist. Don't you think she can feel that? So? I'm the one who's not a believer, John. You always had faith. It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> because, Polo, this means I failed. If I was faithful enough, I could have guided you the right way. But my faith was not enough. I'm the reason you don't have faith in her. You're not responsible for my beliefs, John. If you follow her path, maybe we will have a what chance. What chance? Your faith may be our only chance to be together. I have to believe in her. Obey her and do whatever she tells me to do. Where is the line, John? Do you seriously think it's going to be enough for her? You are so goddamn naive. We're talking about a woman who manipulates every single decision of our lives. You can't talk like that. She is the one who created you. Enough, John. Every day she calls us to her room and gives us a new task to do, which decides whether we leave or not. Look into my eyes and you're not sick of it. So what? Without her, do you think you would be alive? You are so ungrateful. If you want to breathe and love me, you have to accept it. And this isn't fucked up. You didn't feel what I felt without you in the whole room. It was the worst moment of my life. I don't ever want to leave without you. So you see, she's our only hope. How can you be so sure? 
Don't you ever wonder if she may not be what you think of? Paulo, stop! I am right and I know. Deep down, you know it too. She is the creator and that's it. You are not gonna change my mind. Something is not right here, John. I know it's hard to believe, but... What if there is something else? I'm sorry, Polo, but there is nothing else. She is the creator. I'm asking you one last time to believe me. So, what are we going to do? I guess we won't be together anymore. I don't want to lose you. No one thing. You are everything. John, you can come in. What's going on? Enough, John. I can't live like this anymore, okay? I'm gonna end this. Don't even try, Polo. I'm gonna end Don't this, be John. fucking stupid! I'm gonna end Just this, John! Just give it to me! Don't John. do it, Polo. You can't kill the god. You are going to get yourself killed. I don't want to lose you. What happened, my son? You seem different.
What have you done? I was just trying to save you. I, I can't believe you are right. I see. What was the purpose of anything then? What do I do now? Answer me! Answer me! I guess we can love freely now. Oh no! Oh no! Are you there? Do you hear me? It's time to go. Bye. Uh -huh.